Learning Arduino with Fritzing Starter Kit by and with Stefan Hermann. Digital Out. To understand the digital out, we have to discuss what is digital. Right, a digital signal means that it can it has two states. It is on or it is off. It is high or low. It is one or it is zero. That's easy. The digital output means that we have a signal which is 5 volt plus, what is high, or it is ground low. Let's try and build something. So this is a fritzing software and here I will build the circuits I would like to show you. For example, Blink. Therefore I take the Arduino from the parts library and I place an LED in the Arduino. To understand an LED, because it's a part which has to be placed always in the right direction, we have to take a look at this LED. It has got a long leg, which we marked with this little with this little bending here. So this leg is actually longer. If you take an LED out of your fritzing starter kit, then you can see this leg is longer than the other one. And this longer leg always have to be placed to a plus. The shorter leg is always placed in a ground signal, right? The LED has even a flat side and a round side and the flat side again indicates that this is a minus, that is a ground side. And if you look into the LED part then you can see that on the one side there is a big flag, big metal flag in there and on the other side there is a small one and this big flag again indicates this is a minus. So take this LED and simply put it in the Arduino into the pins on the ground and in the digital 13. And now you can go to the Arduino software. The Arduino software has this menu on top where we can make new sketches and open sketches. Here is a sketchbook with all the things you did. Um, there are very interesting examples in there. And here you can save. Or a very important function is the upload function because all the programs you are writing in the Arduino software they have to be uploaded to the Arduino board. Then again here we have this little icon row. Here we can check our program if there are any errors in there and the important icon again is here the upload to the Arduino board. Right, so please open in the from the examples the basic blink example. It's here. And please upload this to your board. I will explain the code later. Some things you have to do is to select the kind of board you are using. So I'm here using the Arduino Uno and you have to select the serial port, what is very important. On the Mac in the most cases it's the first point and in most cases on a PC it's the last point which is called COM, com something, COM in a number. So now I will upload it to the Arduino board by clicking this upload button. And on the Arduino board we can see here this transmission and receiving LED blinking that 
means that there is coming something from the COM port. Yeah, and when it's done, my LED is blinking. Perfect. Right, so what is happening in the program code? Every Arduino program code consists of a setup method, which is um, running one time, and a loop method, which, is what, which will run forever. As long as the Arduino board gets power, it will run, and it will repeat again and again. Like the name said, it's a loop. This beginning of a method with this word void, this is something from the syntax. It's just like how we write it. This void means that this method won't return a, something like a value. Uh, you can imagine if you have a method which is called, for example, calculate, that and, and which gets two parameters from us, like uh, number A and the number B, then calculate should return something and it should be the result of maybe a plus b so and this void means that this is a message which won't return any message or any result so that's just why it's called void so in this uh, blink example um, in the setup there is a command which is called pin mode so Pin mode is needed that the Arduino knows um, that a special pin has a special function. For example, here it is pin 13 should become the function output. This is something what we have to tell Arduino that it can handle it. And we only have to do this one time, that's why it is in the setup. Then we have our loop method. And in the loop method, we have the first com command, which is called digital write. And digital write is a command to um, write something to this digital pin, right? And it got two parameter again. The first is about what pin are we talking? And the second is what should Arduino do with this pin? And here we want to set this pin too high. That would mean that the LED will turn on, right? In the end, this here are just comments. Then we have a command, what is just called a delay. Delay 1000 means stop this program for 1000 milliseconds, which is something like one second. Then again, we have a digital write command and we write to the digital pin 13 the parameter low which means that now there is not 5 volt plus on this channel but um, 0 volt then again there comes a delay for one second and then the program starts again in this loop method from here to there and again and again and again all right that's not so complicated now we can talk about something what is in programming quite important it is called variables a variable is like you maybe know from your uh, math courses in school um, it is something what can hold a value for us so if I declare a variable <coughs> and I give that give it the name LED pin then I can set a value to it so for example LED pin equals 13 means that now everywhere where I use this word LED pin will be the value what I once declared. So if I say LED pin is 13 then everywhere in my program LED pin 
will be replaced by 13 and if I will change later maybe the pin number then I only have to do this at this central position and not everywhere in my programming code. So a variable all, always needs a variable type. So here it is int so that means that it is an integer number. Another possibility for example would be a float which is from the range of the real numbers. Right, but as long as we talk about pins, they only can be um, they only can be full numbers, so they have to be integers. It's not possible to talk to the pin number twelve point five. <laughs> this episode was brought to you by Fritzing.org, the free and open software for project documentation, sharing, and PCB layout creation. Check out our PCB fabrication service Fritzing Fab. With the purchase of Fritzing products, you actively support the development of the Fritzing software. For more Arduino-related questions, go to arduino.cc/forum.